Is, is it okay? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to tell a quick story about Andy um, because I can't help myself. Um, do you remember how many years ago did we meet in my writing class? Three. Four. Four. Four years ago. Now it's four years ago. And I remember, I hate it when this happens, but one day in that class, early in the semester, I got sick. And you know, as teachers, it's painfully hard to reschedule or find substitutes or whatever. So I was just gonna gut it out. I was just gonna struggle through. But I told, I warned everybody at the beginning of the class, it's like, please help me out, especially today. I'm really suffering and don't be too loud. My voice can't handle it, even with the microphone. And Andy was there talking to his partner in a really loud voice, and I got so angry, I yelled at him. I said, shut up! <laughs> and I immediately regretted it, because I hate, I, I hate any, anything like that. And so I have to say, you know, my initial uh, impressions of Andy were not completely positive, but I love it when this happens, when students prove me wrong. In, my, in those kind of initial, somewhat negative reactions. And almost every experience I had with Andy after that was positive. Um, when he's focused, he's one of the best students, you know, Taiwanese students I've encountered. Um, and I'm gonna get emotional, so I better stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. stop. Right. You do? Don't, no, don't do it, you guys do it. Yeah. I can go cry, but you can't. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Uh, without further ado, uh -huh. Andy. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, doctors and professors. My name is Andy, and today's my cover is about English teacher attitude toward classroom interaction and L2 WTC. And my name is Andy, Li Zhenliang, and here is my co author, Jason Zerman. So, this is sculpture about today's presentation. First, we'll talk about research motivation, next, purpose of study, literature, literature review, and the research of questions. Methodology, and before the last, is the result of discussion. And finally, we have Q and time, if I have any questions. So first, in 2018, Executive Yuan announced Taiwan is going to be bilingual nation by 2020. In order to enhance national competence, so we have to enhance our English proficiency. The present study is guided by research purpose and German research to investigate the attitude of junior high school English teacher toward L2, classroom interaction, their willingness to communicate, and the relationship between the two variables. To compare the L2 classroom interaction attitude and L2 WTC of teacher teaching high and low population areas in Taoyuan City. There are four research questions based on the, our purpose. First, is what are the attitudes of junior high English teachers toward classroom interaction with respect to using the English language? To what to extend? A junior high English teacher willing to communicate in English. Third is what is the relationship between teachers' attitude toward L2 classroom interaction and their L2 WTC. The final do L2 classroom interaction attitude and L2 WTC of the teacher teaching in the low population areas differ with the low the teacher teaching in the high population areas. The research questions, uh, <coughs> the research questions are, and purpose are guided by literature. So I'm gonna review some key literatures. First is about relationship between L2 classroom interaction and learning. One of our key study is lead by Lee and Lee in 2020, investigated the Korean junior high school English classroom transfer from a teacher-driven environment into a communicative, communicative student-centered classroom. This free classroom provides 100 students with increased opportunity to use English for communicating. The 
finding shows that English proficiency of intermediate level students was significantly increased. They suggest cultural relationship between L2 classroom interaction and learning outcomes. Next is about students' attitude toward L2 classroom interaction. One of our key studies by Wang in 2017 investigated the relationship between the Thai students' attitude toward classroom interaction and two variables. The findings shows that significant correlation between the learners of perception of classroom interaction and two variables. The study suggests that teachers should increase students' intrinsic motivation in developing their positive attitude toward classroom interaction. However, this study makes out the teacher's attitude. Next is about teacher's attitude toward L2 classroom interaction. One of our key studies is by Wang and Zhen in 2020. The study established the SEM model to examine the relationship between both junior and senior high school English teachers attitudes and willingness to communicate, instructional willingness to communicate and teaching behavior. One of major findings shows that teachers, the teacher's attitude toward both teacher to student interaction in the L2 and teacher to student to student interaction in L2 had a significant explanatory power for the extent of a teacher's willingness to use L2. However, the attitude of the only junior high school English teacher are not analyzed. Next is about student willingness to communicate. Our in 2018 found that based on the data collected from 106 30 students, the relationship between L2 TC and motivation is strong. The results suggest that the more motivated students become, the more willing they become to communicate in English. However, the present study is to address the gap in the research line to and explore the teacher's L2 WTC instead of students. Next is about ways to communicate motivation and English proficiency. Dasa Fala Sawan and Ryder in 2021 investigate the relationship between student proficiency level and their willingness to communicate. The results show that the statistical significance because between WTC and students' English proficiency and suggest the importance of encouraging learners to be engaged in L2 use. However, the present study is to explore teachers' WTC. The next is about teachers' willingness to communicate. One of our key studies, again, is one and the in 2020. Also investigate the relationship between teachers' attitude toward L2 class interaction and their L2 WTC. One another major finding is that the teacher participants L2 WTC was relatively low, just a little bit for hypothetical mean score and was significantly influenced by their L2 classroom. Once again, the junior high school English teacher L2 WTC was not analysis. In relevant literature, there is a little research on junior high school English teacher tour, tour and L2 WTC. There is, a, there is no research comparing attitude and WTC of teachers from different regions. Therefore, our study was designed to address four questions four questions just now, and the methodology will be introduced next. Four, first, how to define the low and high population areas. As you can see, the highest is in Taoyuan in Taoyuan city, the highest is Taoyuan district, and the lowest is Fuxing district. But there is a gap between Pingzhen and Guizhan. So we define that. If the population density is higher than Pingzhen, we we define like we either indicate like it's high population areas, and if the 
population density is lower than Pinson. So we identify it is low population area. Participants, there are 215 50, 15 English teachers from 35 junior high school school, schools, schools in the Taoyuan city. As you can see, the gender most of all are female. And most of the participants, there are 59 English teachers from high population area. And there are 41 percent English teacher from low population area. Instrument. The instrument, the questionnaire is about perception of class interaction in English is from one in 2017. There are 16 questions divided by four dimensions. First dimension is about interaction between teachers and students. Second is about group interaction. Third is peer interaction. Fourth is observing others between observing interaction between others. Sorry. And the WTC questionnaire from one in 2019. There are eight questions in WTC questionnaire. As the BIT has mentioned, according to Comba Alpha, as you can see, attitude to a teacher and student. Here is attitude to a group discussion. There's attitude to a peer discussion. And there's attitude to observing others' interaction. And the final is WTC. As you can see, the correlation, the correlation WTC and all four of attitudinal dimension are significantly positive. So we can trust this questionnaire with un unconscious. After we finish the, let, let's answer about user question one. What are the attitude to a junior high school English teacher to work class interaction with respect to using the English? As you can see from key test, there are all attitudinal dimensions are positive. And let's see about the mean score. The, all of the mean score is higher than hypothetical mean score. And even close to five. It shows that all of the English teachers from Taoyuan Taoyuan City are positive, significant positive in attitude toward using L2 cousin interaction. And this is question two. To what extent are junior high school English teachers willing to communicate in English? As you can see from T test, there's there has significant there are significant positive the English teacher are positive using willing to willing to communicate in English. However, the mean score is only about a little hypothetical mean score. It means that the, the English teacher, even though they are positive, but they still have reserve. And to answer research question three, what is the relationship between teachers' attitude toward class interaction and their the L2 WTC? As you can see from peer correlation, the correlation between the correlation between WTC and all four attitudinal dimensions are significantly positive more than 0.3, especially GP. Good interaction, peer interaction, are uh, serving others are uh, more than four. So it shows that they have significant correlation with each other. The final re research question to the L2 classroom interaction, attitude, and L2 WTC of teacher teaching in low and high population different with those of those are teachers teaching in high population areas. According to a T test, we can sh the T test shows that there is no differences between teacher teaching in low and high population areas. In terms of four attitudinal dimensions and WTC. Okay, after presenting the finding of study, I would like to present discussion with suggestion, some suggestions. The first research 
question is about teacher's attitude. Okay, the finding shows that it's ankle to period, the finding is ankle period study by Huang and Mai, 2020. Most of the high school English teachers in their study highly appreciate the significance of full work in English speaking class in Vietnam. Next, to, address, to answer research question two about the willingness to communicate. The result corroborate with the re in Wang and Zhen 2020, but in our study, the junior high English teachers l 2 PC was relatively low, just a little bit above the hypothetical mean score. To answer research question three, the correlation between teacher's attitude and RBTC. To a co-positive relationship between teacher's attitude and WTC, the higher teacher's WTC is, the more variable attitude they tend to have to work as to classroom interaction. The, this result echoes one and the in 2020. The implication is teacher's L2 WTC may contribute to their attitude toward class interaction. If L2 classroom interaction is important for L2 acquisition, it may be important to explore teachers' willingness to communicate and factor influence WTC. To address research question four, attitude toward the L2 class interaction and the WTC, whether it's different or based on the different region. It shows that they did not have any different differences between two population density, two population regions. A very relevant study is by Wang and Zhen in 2020. However, the study didn't compare teachers' attitude and WTC in different regions. So it means that it shows we prove that there is no also in the same city there's still no no differences between in one city. So does anyone have any questions? Thank you. 